I think the ultimate purpose of a clinical trial of a new strategy, be it a different type of surgery, radiotherapy, or a new drug, is that the clinical trial should either show, which is the preferred outcome, or rule out that it makes people either live longer or that they live better. I think one of the big problems is in selecting the right drugs to take forward, and sometimes that's determined by companies rather than more objective criteria about which drugs are most promising. And although companies have done very good trials and some of the company's drugs have been very helpful in leading to changes, I think there's a lot of commercial bias in the way we're set up and a bias against being able to do trials both for older drugs, which as we've learned more about the molecular properties of cancer, might be actually just as good as some of the newer drugs for, for treating um, certain subtypes of cancer, and for trials in things like surgery or radiotherapy, where there aren't profits to be made from, uh, or, or very little profits, but there is a limited public purse for supporting trials that uh, don't have the potential to make a profit for industry. Well, I think there are a few things that need to be done. I, I think, first of all, we need to have outcome measures that really reflect benefit to patients and some of the outcome measures that are used in clinical trials. I understand them because they're trying to get results quickly, but they don't always predict for the important things of making people live longer or live better. Uh, I think we need more trials that incorporate and incorporate well studies of, of uh, quality of life or symptom control, because to me, you know, a drug that has a marked effect to improve symptoms or make people live better is probably more valuable than a drug that makes people live two months longer. Um, but that isn't the way the registration agencies have seen it. I think we need to incorporate, therefore, quality of life earlier. I think we need to incorporate um, costs and pharmacoeconomics. That means the, the relative costs of, of drugs and the impact on the system earlier, because I think if, if drugs are highly effective, then it's probably okay that they're relatively expensive. We can afford that. But if they're, if they're introducing small differences, they may be important if the drug doesn't cost too much in re relation to other things. But I think that needs to be brought into that equation. And finally, I think we need much more objectivity in the reporting of trials so that people are giving, you know, that, that the data are open I'd like to see open access to all of the trial data and that we're not having too much, if you like, company spin in trying to make, it, make things look better than they are so that we have a real perspective.